Nga po yung gusto po nating liwanagin, kaya nga po tayo ay humihingi po ng pag-amienda sapagkat nakikita po natin, mahal na ginoong Pangulo, na sa panahon po ngayon, eh mas marami na pong fake news. Natatalo na po ng fake news ang mga tunay na dapat ay ibinabalita at ipinararating ng gobyerno sa taong bayan. Katulad po, nung isang beses, narinig po natin ang ating kasama na si Senator J.B. Ejercito, sinabi din po niya na yung patungkol po sa universal health uh, uh, law na hindi din po alam ng taong bayan ang patungkol dito. Eh nakakalungkot po yung uh, mahal na ginoong Pangulo na hindi po natin bibigyan ng, uh, ng bagong jurisdiction ang uh, ating pong public information sapagkat sa ngayon po, mahal na Pangulo, umaasa na lang po ang taong bayan sa kung sino-sinong mga vlogger na nagsasalita sa social media, yun na po ang kanilang pinaniniwalaan. Mr. President, trying or spreading lies, coming up with a uh, uh, totally, totally uh, absurd, ridiculous information, then dapat magkaroon ng pananagutan ang mga ito. Because, Mr. President, I, I, I commiserate with our colleague kasi I think lahat naman ho tayo na, na natatamaan ng mga kung sino-sinong bloggers or media media outfits, yung iba nga po, kahit mainstream, Mr. President, kahit mainstream, hindi naman natin sasabihin, lahat laging katotohanan. Official acts, ginawang Pangulo, kapag ka tayo po ang nagpapatawag ng hearing dito po sa uh, Committee on uh, Public Information, nakakalungkot po ang lagi pong sinasagot sa amin ng mga taga-gobyerno, hindi, nag-hearing na kami doon sa isang committee, hindi na kami pupunta dyan. Imagine an out, a media outlet that would say, for example lang, Mr. President, natalo yung UST sa UAAP kasalanan ni Joel Villanueva. But that's the headline, Mr. President. Uh, bigyan ka ng uh, mas, mas, mas malalim na mas malalim na, na topic, Mr. President, or mas, I'm sorry for the word, mas bastos, Mr. President, para lang mag-clickbait, kunyari, Mr. President, and walang pananagutan, Mr. President. There is, there, is, there is a request to suspend, but before we suspend, should, should the Chair grant it, so that this, the period of suspension will be productive, can I also ask that during the period of suspension, can we find out ano ba talaga, compliant or non-compliant? Because there's a claim na may non-compliant, the Senate President says they are all compliant, informed by the Secretariat. So may we know the, the um, factual, the real factual status, no? Because if I remember correctly, merong mga technical requirements na uh, provided by the DPWH na hindi ata na-comply. But sa, ang, ang justification on, since this is action of congress we, we can we can choose to 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 uh, we can choose to create and not comply but question before before congress approves may member na nagtatanong eh, which are non compliant with the technical requirements so let's make this suspense the period of suspension uh, productive um, mr president by finding to out. clarify yeah. to clarify my but, uh, in the president's veto message Nito pong nakaraang March, may mga local bills po na vinito ng Pangulo. At doon po sa veto message ng ating Pangulo, naka-highlight po doon, Mr. President, and I quote, The importance of faithful compliance with the functional criteria and technical requirements should not be wholly disregarded. I just want, uh, I just want to find out, I'm not going to delay the proceedings, I just want to find out, point of inquiry, what were the recent uh, local bills that were vetoed by the president, maybe be informed by the majority leader. Maybe you can ask for a minute suspension just to ask. Yeah. So just be, be clarified, Was there, are there also creations of uh, districts, uh, engineering districts? Maybe find out, please. Yes. Uh, so that's all I'm saying, Mr. President. And uh, again, I am here to make sure that my vote will matter and that I would do my best in ensuring that I know everything and the information is available, unlike before. Um, Senate, there, 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 is, there, is, there is a request to suspend, but before we suspend, should, should the chair grant it so that this, the period of suspension will be productive? Can I also ask that during the period of suspension, can we find out ano ba talaga, compliant or non-compliant? Because there's a claim na may non-compliant, the Senate President says they are all compliant, informed by the Secretariat. So may we know the, the um, factual, the real factual status, no? Because if I remember correctly, merong nga mga technical requirements na... Uh, provided by the DPWH na hindi ata na-comply. But sa, ang, ang justification on, since this is action of Congress, we, we can, we can choose to, 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 uh, we can choose to create and not comply. But question, before, before Congress approves, 
may member na nagtatanong eh, which are non-compliant with the technical requirements. So, let's make the, suspense, the period of suspension um, uh, productive, President, Mr. President, by finding to out. Clarify, yeah. To clarify, yes, meron din po kasi, Mr. Yeah. President, meron din kasi technical requirements dyan eh. So, yun lang yung tanong. May yun yung tanong kasi there is a claim na ano, can we just find out during the period of suspension? Anyway, mag isususpend yun rin po yata. Um, so when, um, before suspending, um, let me just say this on the record. We approved this on second reading. It went through the committee. The committee secretary, and this is a new creation, huh? mm. under the rules committee of then majority floor leader Joel Villanueva, that all bills, even if approved by the committee, have to pass through the metal which is a good um, system of the committee through the bills and index. And it did pass through the metal, not only in the committee, not only in the review of the bills and index, but also by the body on second reading. This is the third time we will be asking about all those questions. Um, I will suspend the session for that, but kindly just note um, the process that it has gone through already. So session suspended. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President. Oh. that's the reason why we have the focus. Mr. President, the, our colleague, the gentleman from Nueva uh, Ecija, uh, the Honorable Senator Robin Hood Padilla, is seeking the floor to uh, deliver a manifestation, Mr. President. May he be recognized. Senator Padilla is recognized. Maraming salamat po, Ginoong Pangulo, at uh, sa ating pong pinunong mayuria. Ito po ay uh, point of inquiry lamang. Uh, meron lamang po akong sanang uh, gustong idulog sa kapulungan upang mabigyan po ng kaliwanagan. Ito po ay bunsod ng mga resolusyon na inihain ng inyong abang lingkod upang talakayin sa ilalim ng pumiting aking pinamumunuan ang public information and mass media. Meron po akong serye ng mga resolusyon na nagmumungkahi po ng mga pagdinig patungkol sa mga mahalagang isyu na sa aking paniniwala ay dapat nagkakaroon ng malawakang talakayan at information dissemination para sa ating mga kababayan. Ngunit sa kasamaang palad po, hindi po ito nare-refer sa public information and mass media o di kaya ay nagiging secondary committee lamang po ang sa amin. Hayaan po ninyong basahin ko ang Section 28, Rule 10 ng Rules of the Senate. Ito po ang jurisdiksyon ng committee. All matters relating to public information, mass communication, and broadcast services the implementation of the provision of the Constitution regarding ownership and management of mass media and the advertising industry, the development and promotion of information technology and all matters relating to the artistic standards and quality of the motion picture and television industry. Nais ko pong mabigyan linaw kung ano ang definition at limitasyon ng public information sa konteksto po ng mandato ng Committee on Public Information and Mass Media. Batid naman po natin ang napakahalagang papel ng pampublikong impormasyon pagdating sa pagtataguyod ng mabuting pamamahala o good governance. Critical po sa ating pamumuno na siguruhin nararamdaman ng ating mga kababayan ang mga programa at proyekto ng gobyerno tungkol sa mga importanteng paksa. Ngunit, Paano po nila ito mararamdaman kung una pa lamang ay hindi naman nila naiintindihan ang ating mga ginagawa? Dahil po sa hindi malinaw na depenisyon ng public information, nais ko po sanang maghain ng kaukulang amyenda sa tamang panahon tungkol sa jurisdiction ng Committee on Public Information and Mass Media. Yun lamang po, Ginoong Pangulo. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat, uh, Senator Padilla. The Majority Leader wants to respond. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the manifestation of Senator Padilla will be referred to the Committee on Rules yes. as appropriate. Uh, Mr. President, if I may add, uh, sa pagkakalam ko po, uh, Senator Padilla, sa pagkakausap ko rito sa ating sekretariat, uh, yung mga iba po yung uh, panukalang batas na inahain, katulad nung uh, meron yata pinag-usapan tungkol sa balikatan, ay nararapat lang yata na i-refer sa pangunahing committee ng Committee on National Defense. At uh, primary, uh, secondary committee lang po ang inyong uh, uh, committee, yung Committee on Public Information. Ngayon din ang mga patungkol sa climate change, uh, ang pangunahing committee po ay ang uh, environment, tama? environment and natural resources. Mm -hmm. uh, pangalawang uh, secondary committee po, yung inyong uh, committee, yung Committee on Public Information. Yan po ay uh, uh, 
sinasabi po ng ating uh, sekretaryat. Apo, apo, mahal na ginoong Pangulo, yun nga po yung gusto po nating liwanagin, kaya nga po tayo ay humihingi po ng pag-amienda sapagkat nakikita po natin, mahal na ginoong Pangulo, na sa panahon po ngayon, eh mas marami na pong fake news. Natatalo na po ng fake news ang mga tunay na dapat ay ibinabalita at ipinararating ng gobyerno sa taong bayan. Katulad po, nung isang beses, narinig po natin ang ating kasama na si Senator J.B. Ejercito, sinabi din po niya na yung patungkol po sa universal health uh, uh, law na hindi din po alam ng taong bayan ang patungkol dito. Eh nakakalungkot po yun na uh, mahal na ginoong Pangulo na hindi po natin bibigyan ng, uh, ng bagong jurisdiction ang uh, ating pong public information sapagkat sa ngayon po, mahal na Pangulo, umaasa na lang po ang taong bayan sa kung sino-sinong mga vlogger na nagsasalita sa social media, yun na po ang kanilang pinaniniwalaan. Eh, ang inihingi lang po natin, mahal na ginoong Pangulo, na magkaroon po ng talakayan patungkol po dito sa mandato ng, ng ating pong komite ng public information. Yun lamang po, ginoong Pangulo. Marami pong salamat po. Marami salamat po, Mr. Senator President. Mr. President, if I may, Mr. President. Uh, Just a very short manifestation and uh, in connection to the uh, statements made by our distinguished colleague. I think it's about time, Mr. President, that we look into all this uh, proliferation of uh, fake news. I remember last Congress, we filed a bill uh, regarding uh, anti-fake uh, news uh, bill. And uh, I think it is important to note na kung ang informasyon ay, ay mali, mapatunayang mali, ngunit ang intensyon ay tama, Mr. President, madali mo maja-justify. But if it is clearly, Mr. President, trying or spreading lies, coming up with a uh, uh, totally, totally, Uh, absurd, ridiculous information, then dapat magkaroon ng pananagutan ang mga ito. Because, Mr. President, I, I, I commiserate with our colleague kasi I think lahat naman ho tayo na, na natatamaan ng mga kung sino-sinong vloggers or media media outfits. Yung iba nga po, kahit mainstream, Mr. President, kahit mainstream, hindi naman natin sasabihin. Lahat, laging katotohanan yung kanilang sinasabi. But I, I, I'm just concerned, Mr. President, doon sa pananagutan, yung word na pananagutan. Kasi, for example, Mr. President, can you imagine an out, a media outlet that would say, for example, Mr. President, natalo yung UST sa UAAP. Kasalanan ni Joel Villanueva. But that's the headline, Mr. President. Uh, bigyan ka ng uh, mas, mas, mas malalim na mas malalim na, na topic, Mr. President, or mas, I'm sorry for the word, mas bastos, Mr. President, para lang mag-clickbait, kunyari, Mr. President, and walang pananagutan, Mr. President. Zero. Zero. Zero accountability. I'm not even sure, Mr. President, if the kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas can actually do something about it or can they, are they actually uh, doing its part to regulate, Mr. President, or at least have that oversight function, Mr. President. So, I, I, I feel, Mr. President, that this is important considering na uh, yung fake news, lalong-lalo na, ay laganap sa ating uh, bayan. Just to put that on record, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Senator Villanueva. Apo, uh, ginoong Pangulo, bilang panghuli lamang po, uh, gusto ko lamang pong ipaliwanag muli na malinaw po sa ating konstitusyon, dito po sa Section 7, ano, ito po ang sinasabi dito, the right of the people to information on matters of public concern shall be recognized. Access to official records and to documents and papers pertaining to official acts. Ginoong Pangulo, kapag ka tayo po ang nagpapatawag, ng hearing dito po sa uh, Committee on uh, Public Information. Nakakalungkot po ang lagi pong sinasagot sa amin ng mga taga-gobyerno. Hindi, nag-hearing na kami doon sa isang committee. Hindi na kami pupunta dyan. Yun po ang nakakalungkot, uh, uh, ginoong Pangulo. Gusto ko lamang pong ipaalala muli sa lahat na wala pong pinakamataas na batas kundi ang konstitusyon. At ang konstitusyon po, sinasabi, maliwanag ang kapangyarihan ng public information. Yun lamang po. Maraming salamat po ulit, ginoong Thank Pangulo. Thank you, uh, Senator Padilla. And... Uh, Majority Leader. Mr. President, I, I move that we resume consideration of uh, Senate Bill Number 2555 under Committee Report Number 191. This is the bill amending the Motorcycle Crime Prevention Act. I so move, Mr. President. Any objection? Hearing none, motion is approved. The parliamentary status of the measure, Mr. President, is that we have closed the period of committee amendments, and with the consent of the body, I move to open the period of individual amendments and that I may be recognized as well, Mr. President. Uh, uh, Mr. President, 
Yes, Sir Trupadilio, Sir Maestro. Meron lang po akong gustong itanong sa ating pong madyo. Uh, Mr. President, kanino po natin to i-refer? Uh, Mr. President, to, to the Committee on Rules, taking into consideration the previous manifestation by the Senate President Pro Temp that the Committee on Justice, Committee on Defense, be likewise be given the opportunity to take part in the committee hearings as the primary uh, committee, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. President. Yes, you are correct. Uh, Senator Padilla. Uh, hindi po ba pag-uusapan muna yung amenda natin na Majo? Uh, Ginoong Pangulo, hindi po ba natin pag-uusapan muna ito sa Committee on Rules para ko pong aamendahan natin yung ating ano? Pwede po mag-request po ng one-minute suspension lang ako. Sa suspended for a minute. Okay. Consideration. Um, yes. Uh, uh, my my colleague from my kababayan from Cavite is uh, seeking the floor. Mr. President. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I would like to be satisfied, Mr. President, with the answers and explanation being given to us by the Majority Leader and the, the uh, uh, Senate President. I just wanted to put on record once again, Mr. President, hindi nga po compliant sila after mapasa natin yung second reading. Kaya po doon sa caucus, sabi po, hindi natin ipapasa. So ang tanong ko lang naman po, kung nag-comply na po ba, nagbago na po ba? Because I'm sure uh, when we had that meeting, we informed the stakeholders, especially the local uh, authors, the, the congresspersons, that we indeed uh, wanted them to comply with the requirements of the DPWH. The only reason, Mr. President, why I'm standing here today is so that I will be able to vote uh, on, on, on the right path, Mr. President, na hindi magagalit ang ating mga kongresista, hindi rin magagalit ang ating uh, uh, ehekutibo. Mr. President, let me point out that uh, in the President's veto message nito pong nakaraang March, may mga local bills po na vinito ng Pangulo. At dun po sa veto message ng ating Pangulo, naka-highlight po doon, Mr. President, and I quote, the importance of faithful compliance with the functional criteria and technical requirements should not be wholly disregarded. I just want to put that on record and caution our members. And if there is, Mr. President, uh, uh, indeed uh, compliance on the part of these local bills, then I would vote uh, for it. Thank you very much, especially Thank for you. understanding, Mr. President. Thank you, um, Senator Villanueva. According to the Secretariat, they are in compliance. And um, for the information of the body and um, our invited guests as well, we did not change anyone from the officers of the Senate, from the Secretary, from the Deputy Secretary, which we cannot, the Sergeant at Arms, the, we did not change anything. So it's the same procedures during the term of um, the good gentleman from Bulacan when he was mem uh, chairman of the Rules Committee that we are adopting, since it was a good system um, to follow too. Yes. Senate President Zabiri is Yes, recognized. with the permission of the Majority Floor Leader. Yes, uh, Senate President. I just want to find out, I'm not going to delay the proceedings, I just want to find out, point of inquiry, what were the recent uh, local bills that were vetoed by the President? Maybe be informed by the Majority Leader. Maybe you can ask for a minute suspension just to ask. Yeah. So just be, be clarified, Was there, are there also creations of uh, districts, uh, engineering districts? Maybe find out, please. Yes, um, for the before, before suspending, Chair would like to place on record um, um, my view that I think we are seeing a healthy system of checks and balances, whether there's a veto or not. If at all that it's the first time some measures are being vetoed, then that means that um, Congress is independent of the executive. Na hindi nag-uusap, hindi nag-uconsabahan, kaya nga may nabivito eh. Sa totoo lang, sa mahabang panahon, um, alam niya ng mga matagal na sa Senado, walang nabivito na measure. Kasi masip ma... Uh, masipag tumutok sa mga panukalang batas, ang PLLO, at bago pa mapasa, na ibibigay na yung pahayag at opinion ng executive um, bago pa man maging third reading. Ngayon, na may mga batas na panukalang batas na nabivito, patunay na hindi na didiktahan na ehekutibo ang Kamara at ang Kamara may sariling panindigan at pananaw kung mga dapat maging batas. Hindi lang sumasangayon ang uh, ehekutibo kaya binivito niya. Um, may I get the list, ma'am? I, I have here with me, Mr. President, if ah. I may. I can uh, share it with the body, Mr. President. HB number 1028, an act converting the Sawang Makalas Road in the municipality of Romblon, province of, province of Romblon, into a national road and appropriating funds therefore. HB number 1029, an act converting the road stretching from Barangay Tungis, Tugis, municipality of 
Odyongan to Barangay Tugdan, Municipality of Alcantara, all in the provincia, province of Romblon into a national road and appropriating funds. Therefore, HB number 1030, and now converting the road stretching from Sicho, Bolinganay, Barangay, Panique, Municipality of Odyongan to Sicho, Kabaliwan, Barangay Batchawan, Municipality of San Agustin, in the province of Romblon, HB number 1031, and now converting the Sablayan Agpanabat Bagakay Road, a section of the Romblon Circumferential Road into a national road, and appropriating funds therefore. Mr. President, may I just put on record, I agree with the, uh, the veto message of the President when it mentioned that these measures did not comply with the functional criteria and technical requirements. I feel bad that I vote for it and I didn't get the chance to check on whether or not they complied. And that is why in the uh, all members caucus last time, uh, we made mention that we will comply this time and make sure that uh, these lo uh, local bills that we're going to tackle and put on third reading have actually complied with the requirements. So that's all I'm saying, Mr. President. And uh, again, I am here to make sure that my vote will matter and that I would do my best in ensuring that I know everything and the information is available, unlike before, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. President before, Mr. Prior to before recognizing we, the minority floor leader, we, uh, I assure the good gentleman from Bulacan that None of the bills we will be approving on third reading pertain to road conversion. If I may add, yes, Mr. Not a single one. Um, Senate, the, the there is, a, there there is a request to suspend, but before we suspend, should, should the chair grant it, so that this, the period of suspension will be productive, can I also ask that during the period of suspension, can we find out ano ba talaga, compliant or non-compliant? Because there's a claim that may non-compliant, the Senate President says they are all compliant, have informed by the Secretariat, so may we know the, the um, factual, the real factual status, no? Because if I remember correctly, merong ang mga technical requirements na uh, provided by the DPWH na hindi ata na comply. But sa, ang, ang justification on, since this is action of Congress, we, we can we can choose to 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 uh, we can choose to create and not comply. But question, before before Congress approves. May member na nagtatanong eh, which are non-compliant with the technical requirements. So let's make the suspense, the period of suspension um, uh, productive, President, Mr. President, by Mr. finding to out. Clarify, yeah. To clarify, Minority Leader, um, if I get it correctly as well, mention was made about compliance with requirements, how long the road is, yes, how yes. wide the road is, and the veto of the President. All of these, Minority Floor Leader, in my response to the gentleman from Bulacan, pertain to conversion of roads. We are not approving any conversion of roads in the bills we will be approving on third reading. We are approving mostly creation of um Yes, meron din po kasi, Mr. President, meron din kasi technical requirements dyan eh. So, yun lang yung tanong. May yun yung tanong kasi there is a claim na, ano, can we just find out during the period of suspension? Anyway, mag isususpend yun rin po yata eh. So, when... Um, before suspending, um, let me just say this on the record. We approved this on second reading. It went through the committee. The committee secretary, and this is a new creation, huh? mm. under the rules committee of then majority floor leader Joel Villanueva, that all bills, even if approved by the committee, have to pass through the metal, which is a good um, system, of the committee through the bills and index. And it did pass through the metal, not only in the committee, not only in the review of the bills and index, but also by the body on second reading. This is the third time we will be asking about all those questions. Um, I will suspend the session for that, but kindly just note um, the process that it has gone through already. So session suspended. Mr. President, Mr. President. Oh. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for that very important information that you gave us, Mr. President, that would guide each and every one of us in uh, voting for third reading. With that, Mr. President, Considering that House Bill Number 7553 and House Bill Number 8133 complied with the requirements set forth by the Department of Public Works and Highways, I would move, Mr. President, that we take these two bills up initially, and uh, I would like to put on record that I am voting for it in uh, uh, compliance with the uh, veto message also 
given to us by no less than our President, President Bongbong Marcos. Thank the you, uh, points President. of the good gentleman from Bulacan are, are well taken. Majority Leader is directed to um, proceed with the third reading only of House Bill number 7553 and House Bill number 8133. Uh, my dear... My dear Senator President, um, yes, Senator President Zubiri. Yes, um, and not to not to rain on the parade of the other congressmen that are fi trying to pass their engineering districts. Maybe we can just withhold approval on third reading of the rest until they're compliant. And once the DPW writes us, maybe in a month's time, in two months' time, that they're compliant, we can take it up again for third reading, um, if that's possible. Of course, that is possible, Senator yes. President Zubiri, because all we're doing is deferring um, third reading approval. It will remain. Um, with the Secretariat, and as soon as it is compliant, yeah. um, we will schedule it for third reading um, approval. Um, I first have to bang the gavel with my order. Um, Majority Leader. Um, Mr. President, I, before I move for a suspension, Mr. President, I still maintain my submission that no amount of administrative circular, administrative order emanating from a an executive agency can curtail the plenary powers of the Congress, Mr. President. And number two, even if executive orders were issued, they cannot be given retroactive effect to supplant the powers of Congress. My submission should be placed on the records, Mr. President. Mr. President, I move for a Thank minute Thank you, Mr. Suspension. President. May Duly, I just um, put on record, Mr. President, that I totally agree with the two points raised by the majority leader. I, I totally agree and I support his position, Mr. President. Thank Julie, you. Julie noted um, the remarks of both um, gentlemen, but at the end of the day, um, it is the plenary of the Senate that is absolute and has supreme power to decide on these matters, and we have so decided um, already. Senator Cayetano, gentlemen from the gig, you may proceed, to, sir. Just to agree with the Senate President and to amend the proposal of the former Senate President that uh, we withhold action until they comply or they justify. Because, Mr. President, there are two kinds of uh, rules. Eh? Policy, which we can override with legislation, and then, for example, if it violates the Constitution, we cannot uh, override that. So I'll give you an example. When we were young congressmen, uh, Senator Subiri, yourself and me, I think you could not uh, pass a law creating a school unless it's a uh, 5,000 square meters lot area available. But in Metro Manila, there were a lot of... Uh, needs for schools na wala ng 5,000 square. So, pinayagan through law, despite the objection of uh, DepEd. So, DepEd uh, objected as to a technicality na 3,000 square lang yan, 4,000. But the congressman justified it that, no, we will build 5 stories, 10 stories. So, just a, 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 an example that is uh, clear okay. here. Okay. Batanes has a, ano eh, a engineering district. If Batanes was applying now, it would not qualify. Uh, sa dami ng roads. But because it was able to justify na malayo kami, and uh, just to clarify, no, I, I think we're all in agreement now, but just to clarify that um, there are certain situations that the, the requirements of the committee itself or the house or the department, may we are not disregarding it, but we are overruling it if we consciously do it that way. So we may either ask them to submit as is or consciously um, disregard it if there are justifying reasons, for as long as we're not violating the Constitution or other laws. Uh, thank you, Mr. The President. remarks and um, observations of the good gentleman are well taken and duly noted. Mr. President. Majority uh, Floor Leader. To add one liner to the comment of the good gentleman from uh, Taguig, uh, marami po mga legislative districts na hinate dahil sa population. Natural po, lumiit yung karsada nila umiksi. Baka hindi mag-qualify yung iba. Mr. President, I... Hanggang dito lang tayo mga tol. Maraming maraming salamat sa panonood at patuloy na suporta. God bless you sa inyo lahat at hanggang sa muli. Paalam.